Yeah, it's me, Scotty. Hey, Scotty, what's happening, man? Long time. What's on your mind? Be me up, Scotty. Uh, not so much. What's up? Uh, not so much. I just wanted to say, and I've said this on your show before, that uh, it used to be that we were told uh, by uh, people like Malcolm X that the white liberal is more dangerous because they're supposed to be your allies, but they stab you in the back. Mm -hmm. It's changed from now, and it's the, um, the black Democrat and black neoliberal is more dangerous because they have the uh, they have mm. the the mm. the same they share the same. Uh, with me, right? Yeah. And they didn't know the lingo, the church talk, or whatever. Like Donna Brazil was talking about Christian persecution, God. and they stab you in the back. Like they can push the TPP. They can go and press conference, like John Lewis said, and said that the most progressive candidate in our history. He didn't see him in the civil rights movement, <laughs> or they can yeah. do something like James Clyburn and talk about how. Socialism is maybe not beneficial to black yep. folks. I yep. mean, this type of stuff is dangerous. Yep. Like, and it's funny because the with the whole Bernie bro smear, mm -hmm. the white liberals were actually marginalized in this election. Mm. I mean, really think about that. They use the term Bernie bros because they were saying that if you were a supporter of Bernie Sanders you're more likely to be a white liberal male. Yep. And I'm pretty sure that the Hillary Clinton campaign would not have been able to do that with That's black good. feminist groups, uh, black uh, uh, bloggers, yeah. people like Charles Blow. Yep. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't, uh, part of shot, uh, in tribute to your affinity for older women, shout out to all the cougars out there. You make the world a better place. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, peace out. They do make the world a better place, at least when I was single. Um, you know, my wife makes the world go around now. But anyway, I, that was a great observation. I don't think I've ever made that point that maybe I did and I just don't remember it. But thank you for saying that, Scotty. Um, Team Hillary absolutely could not have gotten away with their swift voting of, 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 of Bernie Sanders' uh, progressive credentials and, and support of the black civil rights movement. They couldn't have, she couldn't have done that without the help of the black neoliberal class who made it expressly possible for her to do that without anyone saying anything about it, uh, except for us and, you know, a handful of other people. Uh, David, I saw you nodding your head when he was talking. What were you thinking when the caller was talking? The acknowledgement that you just gave, and you did cover it, I, I think we've, we've discussed it uh, more than once, especially during the primaries, mm -hmm. that it all sort of played into the establishment role that existed that all, all of the um the support that she gets from the african-american community from the, the those in dc from those in the circles yeah and all of that that you know is tied into the media as well i think that without any of that she couldn't have done what she what she did but that's so in you know so intertwined in everything that you know that I don't even know that that was a, a consideration or a thought. Like, we, they, they knew that they had that. 